they were having a bad day at Harefield. A new consignment of tyres had arrived, but it was late and all mixed up. Then, to make matters worse, Mike spilled a box of tacks right in front of the hangar. How could I know there was a hole in the bottom of the box? You could keep your eyes open. You and the fellow who sent these tyres. Look at this. It had fitted tractor. Oh, I'm at my wit's end. There's enough work here for six people. What's up, Lionel? What's going on? Oh, bad show, Budgie. Tax spilled. Half the tyres in the place are punctured, and the new ones don't fit. Can't work without the right tyres, eh? I'm OK, Lionel. I don't need them. Ah, no. Well, good show, Budgie, but just look at the others. Just look at the state they're in. Army marches on its tyres, you know. Worst possible time, too. Why, Lionel? What's so special about now? National Efficiency Awards, Budgie. It's Harefield's turn this week. Daily checks, how well we serve our customers and all that. Oh, rocketing rotors. And do you think Harefield will do badly, Lionel? Afraid so, Budgie. Schedules taken a nosedive. Had expected four stars. We'll be lucky to get one. Oh, gosh. That's dreadful. But I could do a lot of the work on my own, Lionel. I'm fast. You are, Budgie. And we all know you'll do your best. I will, Lionel. You just watch. Snowy and I are off now with the supplies for the mountain rescue station. See how soon we get back. We need a full-time store person, a tire keeper to look after the tires. I can't take care of everything. A tire keeper? That's just the job for me. I'm very tired. <laughs> get it? If you don't stop that nonsense, you'll get it. I'll put you in charge of the tires. They just don't know how fast I am, Snowy, and they'd be surprised at all the shortcuts I know. This will take 15 minutes off the return trip. Wow, Snowy. Hear that? What's happened to Jean-Claude? Yikes! This is a dangerous place. Let's get out of here. you as well, Lionel. Afraid so, Pippa. Well, at least Budgie keeps going. Here he is now. He's made good time, too. Well done, Budgie. You really were fast. Lionel, you'll never believe it. In Bleak Valley, Jean-Claude made a dreadful noise, like thunder. In Bleak Valley, eh? That wasn't thunder, Budgie. That was the sonic boom you heard. What's the sonic boom, Lionel? It's caused by aircraft breaking the sound barrier. When a jet like Jean-Claude goes faster than 760 miles per hour, he stirs the air up and boom! By the way, what were you doing in Bleak Valley? Oh, uh, yes, Lionel. Well, you see, Lionel, I was going to... Later, Budgie, later. Dangerous place, Bleak Valley. Yes, Budgie. What were you doing in Bleak Valley? Never mind that now, Peppa. I know how I'm going to win the four stars for Harefield in the Efficiency Awards. You do? How? I'm going to break the sound barrier. OK, this is it. It's all yours. I hereby appoint you chief executive in charge of tyres. Hey, man, I was only joking. Well, I'm not. Someone's got to do it. Well, so what do I do? One. Keep the place tidy. Two, make sure you know where to find a new tyre for each aircraft. Three, make sure that each tyre has the right pressure for the aircraft it belongs to. Got that? Uh, tidy the tyres, put names on them, and keep them blown up. That's it. Don't work too hard. <sighs> 97, 98, 99. A hundred! That's enough of that. Ah, good show, Budgie. Ah, great idea, this fitness thing. Well, I've got to be fit to break the sound barrier. Nice idea, Budgie, but not the sort of thing us helicopters can do. But that's even better. Now I can be the first helicopter ever to break the sound barrier. Well, Budgie, I can't stop you trying, but if you really want to do something useful, there's an urgent mission. Okay, well, 
was first. Tidy up. Okay, we've got to make name signs for all of them. I think it'd be much nicer if we drew their pictures instead. I was never much good at drawing. It's okay, we'll help you. Lucy draws a really good picture of Budgie. That looks great, Mike. Ken will be pleased. There's still one thing to do. I've got to be sure that every tyre has the right pressure all the time. What? You mean that some have to be harder and some softer? How will you do that? I don't know, but I'll think of something. Well done, Pippa. You're ahead of schedule. And Budge is doing terrific work, too. I've not seen him since this morning. Where is he now? I'll call him up, Pippa. Check how he is. Lyle to Budgie. Come in, Budgie. Budgie to Lyle. Everything OK, Lionel? How's the schedule going? Jolly well, Budgie. Thanks to you and Pippa. You almost finished? I am finished, Lionel. Just refueling here at Wielden. Well done, Budgie. A good day's work. Over and out. This is the special fuel Jean-Claude uses, Snowy. High octane, they call it. Just the stuff I need for breaking the sound barrier tomorrow. What time did you finish here last night? I was late, but I got it to work in the end. What did you get to work? Wait and see, man. Well, lad, you really did it. Whatever it is. I'm ready, Pippa. I really am. Today's the day I break the sound barrier. Come on, you can pace me. What's he up to? He's trying to break the sound barrier. Lionel <coughs> 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 Budgie, hey, you're not still on about this sound barrier business, are you, Budgie? Yes, Lionel. I'm going to break it now. Just watch me. Budgie to Pippa. Okay, Pippa, you ready to be my pacemaker? Pippa to Budgie. Give the signal, and in ten seconds, I'll pass you at my top speed. Budgie to Pippa. Ready, steady, go! Come on, Budgie! You can do it! Only one can do it, Budgie can. Come on, Budgie, go for it! This is impossible, but come on, Mudgy, come on! Golly, Snowy, I've, I've done it! I've broken the sound barrier! I must have smashed it! What a bang! Pippa to Lionel, what's going on down there? What happened to the tire store? Lionel to Pippa, if there's something wrong, it's up there, not down here. Helicopters don't break the sound barrier, but we did hear something. Yeah, it must have been the sonic boom. Hooray! Hooray! Budgie did it! Well, that's a fine mess you've made. Hey, man, I'm sorry, but I just don't know what went wrong. Fastest helicopter ever! Budgie broke the record! Good old Budgie, the helicopter who broke the sound barrier! Do you think I did it, Pippa? Did I really break the sound barrier? I'm not sure, Budgie. Maybe it wasn't the sound barrier. 
But something's broken, that's for sure. Well, at least I must have broken my own speed record, and Harefield will get the four-star award. <laughs> <laughs>